guys welcome back to my channel so in this week's video i'm going to be doing a little nail suite tour um, i just moved into this suite about a month ago and it's pretty much all set up so i wanted to just show you guys around and how i organize things i am currently open um, my books are open i'm taking clients so if you're in the san diego area make sure to check out my booking link you can find that on my instagram or i'll make sure to leave it in the description box of this video but without further ado let's get into the tour all right so when you first walk in to the left i have this big dresser slash just storage cabinets this is actually from ikea and I put it together myself and it has six little drawers in it, which is really nice, really a lot of space in it. I'll leave everything linked or if not, I'll leave it listed in the description in case you want to get it. But in the top drawer, it's just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. So I kind of have like a, a lighter for my candle, some tape, pens, pencils, scissors, mints, of course. <laughs> and then right next to it, I have some like electronic miscellaneous, so earplugs for filing, my little card reader and my opera lamp this little box i'm holding are actually safety glasses for when i'm cutting down acrylic nails i have my little red iguana practice hands some rings in one of those um, i keep a little buffer and file just for my practice hands there i actually have some art back there that i want to hang up to sell and then just some candles that i switch out depending on my mood um, but yeah, that's all that's in the first drawer, just stuff that I use all the time and need to grab really quickly. So in the drawer right under it, I have all of my um, Gel X and Kiara Sky. Sorry that the lighting's a little bit blown out. Here we go. And then I also have just some random nail tips in there in the back that I use for um, just practicing nail art or yeah, on my practice hand, stuff like that. But here are all my gel extensions. They're all organized by um, sculpted, natural length, shape, all that. In the next drawer, it's actually all my press on nails. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with these. I actually closed my Etsy shop a while ago and I still had a lot of product left over, but those are just the little kits, the application kits and directions. Um, that come with the press-ons. I have all the press-ons there that I have left over and they're all labeled and organized. Um, I have my little magnetic tip stands that I use to make press-ons on. And actually I, I use them too just when I'm practicing nail art. So those are still definitely very useful. And then I just have an extra little wrist cushion there that I don't actually use very much anymore since I got the elevated one. Um, but yeah, that's all that's in this drawer. All right, and in the drawer next under those press-ons is the bottom two drawers that are actually a little bit bigger. And sorry guys, this this clip is actually a little slower because I kind of went by a little fast, but the rest of the video won't be at this speed. <laughs> anyway, this is kind of just like dry storage. I keep little water bottles for my clients, extra paper towels, trash bags, and little cups for wine also, which I plan on bringing in to my suite because that's always a nice little thing to offer your clients um just you know relax them it's free all that and then in the bottom drawer i have my clean linens which it's labeled i haven't labeled everything i need to back there are my aprons that little silk cloth is for pictures and then of course clean towels but yeah that's all that's in that drawer so when you turn around this is the area where i sit um so I have my little rack over there. I'm just kind of showing you the room. It is quite a small room, but it's the perfect size for what I need. I just need a little storage space, my desk and two chairs. So here's my desk and this is the little mount I use for filming everything. I have this little lamp, always keep sanitizer on the table, my little McCart lamp, and of course my e-file. I like to keep my table pretty clear and clean, especially when I'm not using it. So. In my desk, the top drawer is my um, implements. So all my cleaned implements go in here. I keep them in these plastic, just pencil containers and they're labeled clean, of course. So brushes, um, cuticle pushers, everything like that. Clean dust brushes here, sanding bands, clean drill bits. So I keep um, my like cuticle bits separated from the rest of them just for, you know, so it's easier to find. In the next drawer, I keep um, basically just a bunch of nail forms and my swatches, so my gel and acrylic swatches. I don't really have anywhere to hang them yet, but I do keep them out when I have a client present. 
um, and then there's my cute little monomer dish but this drawer is kind of plain still trying to figure out what else i can put in there or how to organize that's working for me right now next drawer is um just some like nail art just kind of random stuff so i have like my little palettes and all of my clean brushes so nail art brushes dotting tools acrylic brushes i um sanitize them and put them back in here after each use then i just have up some like builder gel oh yeah that's my crusty old palette <laughs> i just wanted to keep it for memories you got to remember where you started from um here's just some primer my little um <clears throat> primer stand then i have some nail glue for no reason really and then just like builder gel my gem gel all that kind of stuff in that drawer all right and then in the very bottom drawer i have my nail art so i have just a bunch of like sequins and bling rhinestones i don't really have any like swarovski or anything yet um because if you haven't noticed i'm not really that big on like gems and stuff like that um i'm more into like hand painted nail art so my nail art drawer isn't that big but um, dried flowers there some caviar beads i have some foil which is really pretty on the very bottom some pearls then i have little chrome powder from kira sky these are my little um, like pliers for when i'm doing nail piercings thing of glitter back there um, i use it a lot for sugaring this little shovel thing is to catch the glitter um, it doesn't work the best i, I probably should invest in the little kira sky one um, down there some stickers little um water slide decals things like that but yeah that's in that side of the drawers um other side of the top of my table i keep my little armrest and my lamp and then on the other side of the table i have this little um like cabinet thing so i keep more dry storage up top so cotton um lint-free wipes oh yeah <laughs> and then um just little like makeup wedges and more cotton band-aids back there more paper towels i go through so many paper towels so i have them everywhere at the very bottom i keep my liquid storage um so my scrub fresh my monomer i keep like my isopropyl alcohol under there and then acetone and yeah that's pretty much all that's in there So after that, I have my um, soiled linens trash can and then my trash trash. And then down here, I keep my little ring light. I use this for um, taking pictures of nails. I really just use it for the light. Um, right next to it, I have this little other cabinet and I will show you what's in there. So top drawer is new files. This is really just stuff I need to set up for a new client. So new files in there. Uh, new buffers, which I actually don't use buffers that much except for acrylic. Um, more paper towels. I keep them like this so they're easy to grab. Right next to me, I have little dental bibs, so I put this under the paper towels just in case I spill anything so it doesn't go through and ruin my table. Down here, I have just some gloves, some disposable masks, and then at the very bottom, I have stuff for soak off. So these little clips for individual or just little soak off bowls. But yeah, I built this too, also from Ikea. And then on top, I have this little, um, I don't know, this little turny thing. I don't know if it's for kitchen or cosmetics, but either way, it's perfect size. So I just keep like stuff I need to grab quickly. So alcohol, I have some empty containers up there too. Monomer, this is my polish remover bottle, but it's actually just 100% acetone. Cuticle oils, I keep all my small little lotions here. <clears throat> my favorite cuticle oil, the Kiara Sky Lavender. And then here's my little secret. I use um, face highlighter and lotion mixed together on the hands just to give the hands a little glow. Makes the pictures look a lot prettier. Nail cleanser, which is my holy, gra holy grail must have used the most. And in the back there, I have some more sanitizer and up top, just an empty monomer bottle. So yeah, moving on to the back of me. Here is my polish and acrylic rack. So I started off really great with organizing this, but then it does get a little crazy. So the top I have all my gel polishes from black, white, red, pink, nude, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple down here. And then I have my little art pods, which I love. Mostly I have Luxa, um, Valentino, and like Young Nails products for gel. I have my Luminary system, my Gel X system, and then my Kiara Sky system all 
clumped together so I know where everything is. And then closest to me, I have all of my top coats and base coat, stuff like that. There's some leftover acrylic that didn't fit on the bottom, on this middle rack. Here I have my most used acrylic, so clear, basically. And then I have all my colored acrylics, really not organized in any particular way, <laughs> just wherever it would fit. Probably need another um, shelf, to be honest. So skipping over to where my client sits, I built this chair as well. I believe I got it on Amazon. Got this cute little purple blanket. If you haven't noticed, purple is my color, like a light purple. And this is their view, so nice and clean. Those frames on the top of the dresser are usually flipped the other way, but y'all need to know all my business, so <laughs> I flipped them around for the video. Down here, I actually installed that little hook for purses. I let people put their drinks there. I need to figure out what to do with that extra barberside container. <laughs> um, here, a little tassel. It was just here when I moved in. And then the sink they put in for me. Um, of course, soap, paper towels, and up there, I put in a little drying rack, basically. And yeah, so let's take a look under the sink. Obviously, it's just like cleaning supplies honestly. So a bunch more paper towels. I have wet wipes that I use to um, disinfect all my surfaces. Back there is more isopropyl alcohol that didn't fit under my desk. I use that little scrubber to clean the sink, the actual sink, barbicide of course. Back there is just more disinfectant stuff for surfaces and um, like brush cleaner for my dust brushes. So I had actually just finished a client before I filmed this, so sorry that everything's kind of disorganized on the sink. I should have fixed it before, but I just had left my soiled implements container. It's usually on top of my trash. I left it over here because I had disinfected it and was letting it dry out. Um, I keep my barbicide filled in that little corner. So it's just this little guy has a little rubber bottom that I'm gonna put on here so you can see. Um, and this one's kind of short. That's why I have the other taller one, but um, yeah, anyway, this is how I clean my implements. I just keep these two little strainers, the little ones for drill bits so I don't lose them, and then the bigger one for the rest of my implements. Obviously, the sink there, soap, a uh, plug, and then the paper towels. And then up here, I put in this little rack as a drying rack. As you can see, I have just cleaned my implements, and I like to let them sit out for a little to like make sure they're fully dry. There's a little timer for my barbicide to make sure I leave it in long enough. But yeah, I like to leave them out just for a little, to make sure they're totally dry, just so I don't get any rust or anything, and especially for like the dust brush and everything like that, because it's still wet. And then, yeah, you turn around, and I have a full length mirror on the door, because mirrors kind of make things look a little bigger, and of course I need to check my makeup and stuff. But yeah, guys, that is about it for my cute little suite. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. Make sure to let me know what you thought by leaving me a comment. Um, you can support me by subscribing to my channel, liking and sharing this video, following me on TikTok, and following me on Instagram. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!